walking up and that's me to meet you, girl. Because I'm going to my shit right here. I love this song. I love this song. I don't know if you all can see this, but I tried to arch my eyebrows yesterday and fucked them up royally. So I had to like take some eyeliner and draw them in. <laughs> oh, I am so cosmetically retarded. Like, mm -mm. you see that? You see, I cut them like completely off. Like, I have a little bit of mascara and a little bit of. And then my forehead is bumpy. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me right now. But anyway, I'm going to talk about some black history stuff, right? Because a lot of people have been sending me videos uh, through the mail and sending me videos through YouTube about black history and stuff like that, which I'm, I'm really, really into and I'm really, really feeling right now. And uh, actually, uh, my best friend is now on YouTube so I sent her a few videos for her to look at and so I said you know look at these videos and tell me what you think you know how do you like them you know and and what you think about them you know we're gonna uh, spark some debate about black history or whatever and so you know you know we got to talking about that and you know I told her I said you know I'm curious about you know what we did before we were slaves I'm curious about our legacy in Africa and the things that we did and our spirituality and, and, and our attitudes. I'm more I'm more interested in that than I am in us in the cotton field. And she was like, Well, Erica, I don't want to learn about no savages. And I'm like, excuse me? She was like, Well it just seems that, you know, when we came to America, we got more cultured and, and, and we we got educated and I'm like are you fucking serious? Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are, you know, and I was just so disgusted at her comments. I was just, I was livid at her comments, you know. And we just, you know, got to talking and I was just telling her how wrong I thought she was, you know. And I told her that I am more proud of my legacy in the jungle being nude or whatever, whatever. My African, when I was in Africa, when my family was in Africa, I'm more interested in that and I'm more proud of that legacy than I am of the fucking legacy of us picking cotton. What the fuck? And getting the, our ass kicked. You know, who the fuck wants to be proud of that? The, oh, it angers me. It infuriates me when I hear people say stupid shit like that. Like, I'm not from Africa. Don't associate me with Africa. And I'm just like, fuck off. Fuck off. Why is black people the only people in the fucking world that do not want to be associated with Africa? It's like fucking... Ugh. I'm, te I'm telling you. I'm, I'm just... I'm disgusted right now by her. I'm really, really disgusted. And I told her, you know, thank God, you know, that type of slavery ain't going on right now because Erica would make a terrible slave. I'd be like, not to fuck your cotton. You pick it. Make me some lemonade, bitch. You know, I'm just, no, I would not at all make a good slave, sorry. But yeah, I, um, I want to do that. I want to do like a whole genealogy, genealogy, is that what you call it? Genealogy, and kind of trace my, my family history as far back as I can, as far, I mean, as far back as I can possibly get it, because, uh, I can go, I can pr pretty much trace, um, like my great-grandmother and her great-grandmother. I've heard stories of my great-grandmother's great-grandmother. So that was quite a long time ago because my great-grandmother, you know, it was, you know, she'd be a hundred if she was still living. So I heard stories of her great-grandmother. So that you know, if, if I can just kind of do a little bit of tracing and figure out, you know, who lived here and who went here and who settled here, you know, um, from a lot of uh, what I learned about my family, um, a lot of our family history was kind of hard to, uh, to kind of, it was kind of hard to follow because a lot of my family members made up stories about their lives and where they're from, you know what I mean? I guess a lot of them were ashamed of their, like, slave heritage, so a lot of them said that they were born in, like, Canada, or, you know, they, you know, make, you know, they make up stories 
to, you know, kind of, I don't know, they changed their names. A lot of them had different names. You know, by the time, you know, my great-grandmother came around, her name was totally made up. You know, that wasn't like a legacy name. It was just a, it was just a name that one of her ancestors just made up out of the blue, like, fucking, let's see. I don't know. They had, I, I had one relative with the old crazy ass name. Like, it was like, her last name was like Shu. S-H-U. You know, and it was something that she made up. You know, so, you know, uh, she passed that on to her kids. So all her kids have the last name Shu also. So it just kind of passed on, you know. Although it wasn't her real name, it was a name that she made up. So it's kind of like, our history is kind of choppy, you know. You can't really determine who was from where, and who did what, and who did who, and who's, you know. I'm just rambling on because I'm kind of pissed off about this whole black history and blacks were savages back in Africa type days. I'm kind of pissed off about that right now, but you know, I'm okay. I'm drinking my that's cheap wine yeah it's pretty cheap um this is st james in the glass you know they're set you they say you're not supposed to mix red and white but it's time for bed so if i'm going to get fucked up i might as well get fucked up before i go to bed so i'll see you guys later i missed you guys and uh i hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.